beef here. Beef, sorry about yes, that. Yes, and when I asked the Iron Chef about the combination of beef and potatoes, he looked at me and said, I can't believe you asked me that. This is a golden combination. The sweetness of the beef matches perfectly with potatoes. Meat and potatoes. And this would be called Nikujaga, or beef and potato stew here in Japan. Okay. And for yes. <laughs> yes. In his tray, the Iron Chef has the uh, beef ribeye sirloin and peanut oil and uh, that we saw earlier, and also carrots, onions, and donshaku and May Queen potatoes. All right, mm. very bold in your face, the makings of a beef and potato oh. stew. Very exciting. <laughs> and what's the challenge you're doing now? He sliced them all. Oh, what, potatoes? Uh, maybe these will be for grilling in an oven. Okay, perhaps? well, I did see him apply oh. some sauce. Yes. Yeah, let me give you what I've got on this dish. These are sliced May Queen potatoes, and the white sauce on top is made from fresh cream, salt and pepper, and nutmeg all mixed together. That's what you're seeing on Instant Replay. All right, let's go to the replay, and there, very thin slices, almost wafer thin. Thin. Maybe a salad? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, I asked Michael what he thinks about the potatoes that he's been provided with today compared with those back home in Canada, and he tells me that Canadian potatoes have a sweetness to them, but that the May Queen potatoes are very close to what he's used to. All right, thanks, Otis. So he's using the May Queen taters right now, slices of which are flattened and weighted down, and they've gone into the refrigerator. And here, what's he got going with this one? I'm not last. sure what he's doing, actually. Oh, eggs. Okay, an egg going in. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, in this bowl, too, the challenger ha is using more May Queen potatoes, actually. All right, using lots of May Queens, sticking with what he knows, because they are similar to Canadian potatoes. These are actually quite good for cooking, because they're, okay. they maintain their shape. They don't crumble. They stay put together, maintain their shape. Exactly, exactly. Oh, All right, now oh. check out Morimoto. Wow. wow. <laughs> they, 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 they don't even look like potatoes. Like onions. Yeah. Now, maybe these are going to be eaten like noodles. That'd be oh, something that's else. Incredible. Okay. Oh, see this? Look at that. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. So they are like noodles, exactly. Well, he's just so creative, just the way he slices it. On. Certainly, take it. Yeah, I asked the challenger if he could tell me the difference between Canadian and American cooking, and he said the roots are the same, but Canadian-style cooking is different from American-style in the sense that it's more sophisticated. Hmm. Frankly, he says, we're at a different level. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Sophisticated. Okay, well, let him okay. get away with well, that. Now we got a salmon over oh, there. Oh, wow. And what do we got, a codfish? Cod? Yeah. Okay, and Ooh, that's on the so challenger side. Yeah, it's a big old Look codfish. That. Now playing that. that huge codfish on challenger, noble side. Fukuzan! Yes. Yeah, I asked Iron Chef Morimoto to give us his impression of Canadian right. cuisine. And he told me that in terms of image, pretty close to French cuisine, but he added, I don't know any Americans who would go out of their way to have Canadian food. Fire <laughs> away. Here it comes, here it comes. Oh, oh it's a smoked ah. salmon. Oh, smoked oh. salmon. Challenger a Noble in his element here. Canada, smoked salmon, a perfect match, I guess. Yes, absolutely. And making it in a circle, so I'm guessing he's going to create layers, perhaps. Okay, but it could just be the bottom layer. Oh, just the bottom, that's possible, yeah. And what now? Well, uh, now he's gone over there and appears to be doing a wrap oh, job. Is it the lamb? Okay. Yeah, wow. it is the lamb, definitely. Oh. Okay, yes. Yet this is lamb rolled up with some other ingredients. Those ingredients are grated May Queen potatoes, again, egg white, salt and pepper, and giblets mixed together. And he rolled all those other things into thin sliced lamb and wrapped it all in mm. plastic wrap. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Wow. All right, yes, the mixture, the paste is rolled up in lamb and meat. How is he going to cook that? Steam it? Uh, that one? No. Mm, don't think so. I think that's probably unlikely. The meat was already cooked once. Yes. I asked Challenger Nova why he's using lamb, and his answer was the combination of potatoes and lamb is perfect match. That's why this will be something to look forward to. Great, and as you heard in the opening, Noble finished right near the top in a world-class competition held in the name of Paul Bocuse, a big name in French cuisine.